What is up, Flock? Phoenix Feather here, and welcome back to another Farming Sim 22 Mod Spotlight. This is where we check out some cool mods that you guys my thoughts and opinions, and leave them linked down in the description down below so you too can go download them if you are interested. Now, today we're going to be checking out a map called Deerlands. I actually found this right before I started recording this video, and it looked very interesting, so I figured I'd give it a check out. A check out? Uh, give it. <laughs> check it out. There you go. Goodness. Alright. So we're going to do this, we're going to do this in style, and we're going to do this right. We're going to get our handy dandy Dodge Charger. That doesn't need to be anything fancy. That works. Alright, so, getting the vibe from this, that these aren't, this isn't an American style map, but that's alright. It's alright, it looks, I'm sorry, is that humming? Dude, has that been in anything else before? That's cool. That's cool. Okay, here's our, uh, our house. Oh, we have a little pony there. Can... Oh, collect. There we go. Ooh. Got our booth outside. Nice front yard. So, I'm... I'm guessing... Yeah, it's mainly a logging map. It looks like whew, that's a, whew, that's a lot of trees. All right, that's a lot of trees. Oh, it looks like our shop, our cars, right over here. That's not the car I'm looking for. Oh, it's that way. All right. So let's go ahead and hop in our car. Walk this right here. Look at all these trees. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's, that's all I got. To, holy crap. So the shop is just a field here. Across the street. Alright. That's cool. That's a big if it this whole thing is stuff that you can you know like you can buy holy crap. That's a ton of space. I like that. I feel like a lot of the maps give you a really tiny spot for your shop to the point where you're constantly filling it. And that's a no good. That's no good. We're gonna turn this way. We're gonna see what we have this way. Fairly uh, simple layout. There is not much going on. I will say this is not. Um, oh, look at that old barn. I know that's part of the game, but I like how they did it. This is how you do it right when you put an old barn like this. I've seen this barn so many times just sitting out somewhere. Look how overgrown this is. This. Attention to detail. Attention to detail right here. Alright. You're not going to see this barn like this just sitting out in the open. No no trees or, or roots or, you know, weeds growing up around it. This is, this is how you would find it out in the wild. I like this. Attention to detail. Kudos. That tree, cutting down that tree would be kind of hard. I think it did say you could, you could sell everything on this map. Pretty cheap land there. Let's get some money here, and then let's go into construction. Okay, maybe it's not this map. I thought it was this map that they said you could sell everything on the map, but it must have been another one I was looking at. Anyway. Time to go. This way. That was humming too. Does this hum? Whoa. That's a different hum too. Checking out the map VP, not uh, a. Is that another one up there? Dude, they did, they did not hide these very well. Oh, poor thing, right on the railroad tracks. We must, we gotta save this one. 
We can't. We, we, in good faith, cannot just leave a uh, toy on the train track demolished by the train. That's that's not not good. All right. Look at all these trees. Holy crap! We are in a forest. This town, this little town, is just in the middle of of a forest. That's that's what it is. Look at look at how. Holy crap. And then you're going to the other side, it's even more trees than what's here. Field, uh, fields look kind of small, but I feel like if you're playing on this map, you're playing it more for the logging side of things over the farming side of things. But, you know, at least it has. I, I've played so, on so many logging maps that don't have fields, so if you, you know, want to take a break, you, you know, want to do some farming over some logging, you have to do a whole new map. Look at this whole crap. That's <laughs> that's a lot of trees. Oh my god. But hey, I mean it's relatively flat you can see, so I mean you could literally cut down these trees and make your own fields if you really wanted to because I mean it looks like there's some hilly areas uh, over where the other fields are but this here's relatively flat so you want open flat land <laughs> just get to cutting man good lord good lord alright so there's supposed to be something down here so we're going to turn down here real quick Skirt. Even like the decoration trees, there are a ton of them. Good this. Big lake there. I haven't really seen it. I like it. We have, I'm guessing this is a cell point. Y'all, you your goods. Goods and services. Is this hum? I'm kind of, I'm kind of blown away at the, the, the humming electrical box. Alright, leave me alone. There's a little attention to detail that I like. This is a big, big lake. I think it's bigger than the, any of the fields on the map. 30 might give it a run for its mind. This thing's pretty big. Look at this. And there's nobody fishing in it? Shocking. Should be like a boat with a guy casting the line or something. Just riding around the edge here. Taking our car off road. He's a dying bad charger. I he can handle it. Love! For this beat is town like being oh, oops. I'm not going to jump out. There's a toy back there and there's a toy right there. I'm not going to jump out and get him though. But for this, uh... Quote unquote town being literally in the middle of a forest, there is a lot of apartment buildings. Just saying. Go through the trees and then you come out. To oh my dear Jesus! I just nailed so many. My, I'm pretty sure my, uh... My charger's total. Fields here. Are these more apartment buildings? What does that say? Livestock auction. All right. So that's <laughs> it's not a part. It's I I guess it, it can be like uh it's like a cow motel. It's not a <laughs> it. It's not apartment buildings, but it is a place where uh, you can house animals. So technically, uh, animal apartments until um, you know. Uh, <laughs> moving on, uh, we have BGA back here. Wee! Nice, nice, nice. Like it, like it. Still. 
pretty odd that something like this is just in the middle of the forest. It is legitimately just surrounded by trees. I'll learn to drive one day. You'll see. And you'll be proud of me, I swear. Okay, this is a... I guess this takes us around to the cutting area. Not a big... Whoa, that is a big body of water. Some swamp logging back in here, Miller. You can get some mud back in here. I'm gonna get mud and tired. Mm -hmm. That's right. You do the loop de loop and pull, and now your shoes are looking cool. Alright. Turn here, I'm guessing it's gonna be a lot, a lot more of the same. Just a bunch of trees. Like, see, look, this land is so flat. So it would be a great map if you have a ton of patience to just come in here and just chop down trees. Like a big logging operation. Which we haven't done so far in 22, so maybe, maybe we take a, a, a break and just do a login. Ordeal. This would be a good map for it. It's flat, you don't have to worry about climbing these gigantic hills. That's a big open clearing in there. Holy crap. Does this take me around? So, no. Okay. There's nothing that way, really. So, why is there a path there? We don't need a wild tough to jump out from behind a tree and chase with a chainsaw off cue. Um, uh, the <laughs> the real OGs know what that means. They remember that video. I'm, oh, well, I can go up where the uh, power lines are and cut across. I was gonna say, I, I kind of want to cut through these trees, but I know it would probably take longer than just going back and around. But then we have this little sneaky beaky trick right here. Oh yeah. Off-road charger. This is like some uh, Forza stuff right now. This is some stuff you can do in Forza. And of course I hit a tree. We're just gonna follow this over that other road over there. Let's see what's on this other side. Run out to, to the other side. Oh. Alright. So we want to go this way. There's a way. Back in here. See again, you go through the middle of the forest and then we just... I, oh, well here's... I mean, I, I, that's as good as place as ever, right? Just the, oh, a sawmill is in the middle of the forest. I guess uh, you will never have to worry about going out of business. And then just go through the forest and you get to the grain, the grain mill or railroad silo. What? <laughs> the map looks great, but the the layout hurts my brain. Just got a railroad silo just out in in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of the forest, you go through the forest, and poof, it's there. Right. Yeah, it's all right. Get the carpenter. Ton of, ton of the production stuff. I don't give a credit. Debris crusher. Just again in the middle of no, in the middle of nowhere. What's this? Oh, this is a 
uh, and the, the, for the, uh, the bio heat or whatever. Like cell logs and heat stuff. I don't know. Anyway, I think we've seen enough of this map. Uh, I will give it a 5 out of 5, even though it is crazily laid out. Um, it, it's got a lot of potential to the point where if, if you have, when I say not potential, meaning like this map can be improved, because I think it's fine just the way it is. I'm, I mean, like, if you have the time to come in here and cut down, <laughs> I'm going to say at least thousands of trees. Uh, you could you could literally make this map your own and just farm it however you want to because there is a ton of open like flat land so you could cut down trees cut out sections and do farming on it too i mean you do have access to some fields they're not um not the biggest of fields but they're decent size so if you would put some time and effort into it you would uh you could have some pretty decent farming on that. So I'll give it a 5 out of 5. I do like it. I just don't <laughs> the layout. I I would probably never go anywhere. Literally. If I had to <laughs> if I had to go through the forest to get to anywhere I, I probably wouldn't go anywhere. Ooh, another toy. But that is going to do it for me for today guys. If you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. This helped me out so very much and I do appreciate it so very, very much. If you guys do want to see future Farming Sim 22 Mod Spotlights, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys want to be notified whenever I do go live and upload a video, click that notification bell. As always guys, thank you so very, very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.